Hey guys, in this video we are going to show the way how to deploy automatically front-end and back-end when they are subfolders inside one repository on GitHub. We are going to deploy the front-end into Netlify and the back-end into Heroku. This is our front-end and this is our back-end. This is our repository. Two folders, backend and frontend. And here we have them. First of all, don't forget this file, add this redirect and this configuration inside it because Netlify expected to be a single page application and when you refresh the sub links or when you try to access them from the address bar the states of the react has been already gone uh, Netlify will gives you page not found and this configuration will prevent that message and gives you the same page this file inside public folder and when we build is automatically added to the build folder let's go to Netlify website and let's create a new site we are going to import it from github we will give the authorization for Netlify to access our repositories just need to be refreshed so it's a click again now let's select our repository and this is our main branch if you are using master choose master and here our sub folder front end our command will be npm run build and we are expecting to be built in the build folder let's give it a moment Let's check how is the building going on. This is the process of building our app. It's now running our command npm run build. and now build script success site is lit let's check and here is our application let's change this link to be more readable we can change the name from this button let's call it auto deploy
and here is our new link let's try to add any change and check if it is going to be reflected automatically let's change this to people too and let's add it to our github repository let's commit with the message test auto update after change and let's push it to our branch main let's check on Netlify it is rebuilding our app again this process is automatically triggered now when there is any change in our github folder of our front end it will be reflected automatically on github and here when we are refreshing it is here reflected automatically so it is working now any update will be reflected automatically now let's move to our account on Heroku and create a new app let's call it auto deploy we will bring it from github let's connect to github let's authorize it and find our repository by clicking on search let's connect to this repository let's enable automatic deploys and let's go to the settings to add more configuration because it is subfolder it is not the main folder if it is the main folder there is no need for any configuration let's add build back let's add node.js now let's use this repository on github to add a build back for our subfolder we will copy this HTTPS link and add it here and give it more priority and let's add here environment variable here's the name project path let's copy it add it here and the value is our subfolder on our repository here it is the backend but also don't forget to add this Heroku config file Brook file and add this to start the node.js so we can start our server now let's deploy the branch it's now deploying and installing the dependencies
and it is successfully built let's check it's working here it's the message let's try to change it and check if it is automatically will be updated let's add here service and let's add it to our github repository let's commit what message change server message and let's push it to our main branch and check if it will be automatically rebuilt let's go to the overview here it is starting rebuilding our app again let's check the log yes build finished and started our server let's refresh here it is updated automatically so now any changes will be reflected automatically on Netlify and Horoko.